And here's a screw that I made. And you can see it's nice and threaded. It's got a head on it. It's got a slot at the top for a screwdriver. And by the way, we're not going to be using any Phillips heads, just the uh, slotted screwdrivers, because around 19, I think 1948 or in the 1940s, uh, Phillips head screws and screwdrivers came into being, but to be historically correct, you really need to be using only slotted screws. So if you can see, uh, this, this will fit in here just fine. Just like that. See, it fits in real good. The th thread matches. Now another kind of screw that you can make is this kind here. This is a, a knurl headed. So basically there's no slot, but it's knurled. The edges are knurled so that you can um, just screw it in by hand like this. And we're going to make both types. We're going to make the, show you how to make the knurl head and the slotted screw. screw. Now, one thing about these screws and making nuts and all, all these things that we're talking about here, we can build an entire course about this, spend four hours or more just going over all the various aspects. So I'm just touching, at a, touching on a couple aspects, practical aspects, and using the lathe for some things that you would commonly use like screws and nuts and things of that nature that you would come into contact with that might be missing on a piece that you need to recreate. So these particular applications are what we're going to go over and that's why we're specifically going over these. Now next let's go and see what needs to be done in order to make these screws. The first thing we're going to need is some brass rod. Now this brass rod is 4.75 millimeters or 3 sixteenths of an inch. As you can see, it's, the diameter is much wider than this, this screw here, but the reason why we have to have that width is because that's going to be the width of the head. So you start out with the width of the head and make the screw from there. At the same time, we're going to need one of these dies here. And this is a number 6 by 32 threads per inch. You can see the 6 by 32 right there where it's marked. And just like our tap, it was also marked. Now another thing we're going to need to have is a die wrench. And the die wrench looks like this. And it's got these screws all around it because it's going to hold this die in there. And this is also what's known as an adjustable die because you can see there's a little screw right in there and you can tighten this and, and make it a little bit looser depending on how tight or loose you want to make the threads. Now some of these dies have an area in the front where you can where it's graduated to, to start to screw and then flat on the back. Now this is graduated on both sides, but you would want to start with the graduated side if you have a graduated side. And also there's a notch on the back side and a notch on the other side. And those need to correspond with these two screws when you're placing it into the uh, die holder. So you screw those down and screw the rest of these down and that'll hold everything in our die. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to just cut off uh, about an inch. Now, even though we're not going to use the whole inch, but part of that's going to be in the collet and being held by held in the lathe for us to make our screw. So we're going to cut off a piece of this, and then we'll go to the lathe and start working on making our screw. Now, up to this point, I cut off my one-inch piece. In fact, I've cut off two pieces of one inch each because I'm going to do one that's an knurled head and one that's a slotted head screw. I've uh, took off the burr off the edge, and I've taken a graver and uh, I've flattened out the front so we've got per we're perfectly perpendicular here so we clean up that front edge and now I've, we need to reduce this to a diameter because right now it's uh, 100 and it, about 185 thousandths of an inch and when, in order to calculate the correct diameter we, we need to get another chart and this is a chart I pulled off the internet which is for uh, thread screw and net thread sizes and uh, we're doing a 6 by 32 threads per inch and I find that on the chart here and over to the right it tells me that my diameter would need to be 138 thousandths so we need to go from 185 to 138 thousandths see because here it's telling me at the top what the major diameter needs to be so we need to be at 138 since we're doing a 6 by 32 thread per inch die so we're just going to do an arbitrary spot let's say from here and just basically remove metal with our graver until we get a 
stem here of 138 thousandths of an inch. So let's do that next.